Hey there guys, this is Robin Hood, and today I'm bringing you a 2 versus 2 replay that is more so a uh, 1v1, I'll explain that in a second, on Tahuku Forest. My ally here is my clanmate Sprint, and we are against Daimyo de Velasco and Red Alert. So, yeah, basically Red Alert here at the beginning of the battle uh, lost connection, and, you know, he didn't, I don't think... He, he, he only could have quit if it was an emergency, uh, cause no fighting had started, and they had Shinobi Informer, so I deployed everything just kind of in a blob in the woods here. Look at my rainbow of troops, you got green, orange, everything here marching through the woods, but I, I can deploy really quickly, as you can see right there at the beginning of the battle, I have everything deployed, so I wasn't worried about, uh, you know, having my men be in a blob. I don't really need to deploy at all. That was just to make that... Sh I mean, he's gonna see my troops now anyway, he sees all of them. It was just to make that Shinobi Informer a uh, worthless retainer, because it didn't actually help him see it earlier. So, yeah, I guess that's just pretty much that. But I have units. Uh, let's see. Of course, I've got my Shogatai. They are. I've got, I believe, four Imperial Infantry, maybe five. That's three. Got an Imperial Guard Infantry. Okay, so I've got an Infantry de Marine, four Imperial Infantry, Imperial Guard Infantry, and the Shogatai, my general, four Cav, uh, two Shogunate Guard Cav, two Yariki. And there they are. And that's going to be that over here. Red Alert is going to drop out of the battle almost immediately. And you can tell by from going from an organized line to this just mad rush across the field. Um, that's going to be the end of him. So Sprint's going to deal with that. And it was at this point that I told my opponent, I'm like, hey, just sit, sit tight. Um, and I won't attack you at the moment. And we'll let Sprint deal with this AI. And then, you know, we'll 1v1. Sprint's going to back off. So Sprint's going to end up taking a line like that and just let me fight this guy so that he does not get swamped and have no chance of uh, doing anything because of two armies coming at him. Although, for a second, we thought that plan was going to be ruined as the AI came over this way towards me, it seems. So Sprint's just going to move in on the flank and pretty much destroy it. Make it turn this way. You can see the opening shots here. 50 range white bears shooting these imperial infantry up yeah they're gonna get mowed down there and this actually looks pretty cool though the way it plays out uh, it's just a mad rush over here I thought I was gonna have to send in some units to stop this Yari Ki because once again it is charging towards me so I am sending my cavalry over just kind of you know deploying in a way that can hopefully stop them and as you can see I'm charging in and they stop and decide to go after sprint like they should so I'm not gonna get engaged I'm gonna pull back so that I'm not wasting any units for my battle and uh, all these guys are gonna turn and end up fighting him here comes sprints cavalry horde across this field I'm just gonna sweep up the flank of this guy and that's gonna be the end of the AI there's not really any challenge fighting the AI, I mean, sometimes it's all-out rush can catch someone off guard. Um, I've actually had an AI ally win once my ally quit from the battle, but yeah, that's going to be the end of that one. So we're going to fast forward through this. And Sprint's name's getting in the way. I can't hit play. And that's going to be the end of that. Yeah, look at this. Wow, cameras move fast when you come out of that. Look at this epic last stand charge of this guy's general. There he is right there. A bald old man with a pistol levitating over his shoulder instead of in his belt. And, ooh, that's crazy. This guy's went flying as Sprint's Cav came in to finish him up. So that's going to be the end of that battle. Uh, the last units are sitting over here. My infantry day marine is putting some fire on these guys. We'll go a bit faster again. Some of these guys moving up. 
That unit's gonna route. General, look! And They're off they wrong. go. So it was at this point that I was like, wow, I can't turn my camera that fast. When you come out of the fast forward mode, your camera moves really fast for some reason. But yeah, I was just like, you know what? Since I have an entire enemy, uh, I mean ally army uh, here to back me up if I lose, you know, to win the battle, I'm just going to do an all-out rushing attack because this guy, he, he set up some artillery in the woods here on the hill. Maybe not the best spot for it because of the trees. But I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go crazy here and rush. So here I have some cavalry taking out this uh, Yari key of his. Two cab and a sugar tie. And this unit's going to come forward and not help that situation. This black bear, we're going to shoot into it and harm some of my guys there. But you can see I am just rushing forward through the trees. Found this hidden Tosa rifleman. I'm uh, going to shoot them down. And basically, this guy's going to make his last stand on this hill here. And I'm just going to keep pushing forward, trying to take him down. So you can see these guys here were shooting at my cav. And my Imperial Infantry now, who are firing back. So it's a fight through the woods. This guy has, right now, the better position. But my Shogatai is on the flank and is going to come in. And start to end that I've got cavalry going far around either flank and you can see sprint here is just sitting back uh, no real worries about anything so my cabs going around either flank over here I have what's left of this cavalry contingent going around the far right and my Shogatai are just gonna keep sprinting after these guys now retreating up the hill as they get shot see the rounds coming in but my army which was just fighting back here has now moved up again and you can see the fight on the hill I have some of my guys gonna lose here because of that fire and I am overlapping on his flank with this infantry day marine which for some reason has the flag on the far right so that doesn't make sense but yeah flanking fire there and now in the back comes my cavalry from all angles so you know sprint took no part in this battle this guy took no part in that battle so it's pretty much just a 1v1 like I said but my cavalry is gonna come slam into his flank my infantry is far firing from this flank you can see all the smoke in the woods my cab is just swarming around behind him there goes the artillery and uh, my men are trying to fire up this hillside here uh, men routed sure, there sir see that and that's gonna be the end of it as my cavalry just kinda cleans cleans up the house there kinda hard to see with the trees and such but yeah these these black bears making their final stand they're going to go down and that is that so yep that's the end of that battle uh, I've got to say, knowing that we were going to win the battle made that fun because I could just do an all-out reckless attack. And um, it ended up working. So I guess that was the course of action to take there. But, you know, because I had the support if I lost, um, it made it not, you know, I wouldn't have probably rushed that aggressively had it been an actual one versus one but that's that you can see their stats so you got the most kills here that would be my infantry day marine zero losses 207 kills but yeah besides that good game to our opponents good game to my ally and i will see you guys next time with more